Turning to the broader markets, the S&P 500 up about 2.4 percent in the early going. Uh, we were down about 11 percent over the past two weeks. So uh, a pretty strong bounce, but one that was due. Joining us now to talk more about it, CFRA Research Chief Investment Strategist Sam Stovall and Morgan Stanley Investment Management Senior Portfolio Manager Andrew Slimman. Um, good morning to you both, guys. Um, Sam, love to start with you. I, I, I mentioned uh, we seem to be primed for just a little bit of relief, but put it into context just in terms of, I guess, the scale uh, of the damage and what it might tell us about where we are uh, in this sort of life cycle of this bear phase. Well, good morning, Mike. Yeah, basically, we're down 24 percent, which is really just a, a minor bear market. Uh, but at this point in time, we've actually seen uh, no None of the 148 sub-industries in the S&P 1500 that are above their 10-week moving average and only 7% uh, on their uh, trailing 40-week moving average uh, are positive. And typically, whenever we have seen a situation like that, we have been close to a bear market bottom, uh, except for the deepest ones, meaning 2002 and 2009. We still had about three months to go. So right now it does say that you probably want to start nibbling. However, the bottom is probably not in place. Andrew, how does that all sound to you? I mean, it, it, we can talk in terms of price or in terms of value. And, and price has, has really reset in a dramatic way lower. And it's been very broad, as Sam just detailed there, in terms of the damage, in terms of how oversold things appear. But what does the risk reward uh, look like to you as a, a buyer of stocks? Yeah, well, as a portfolio manager, I completely agree with what Jim Cramer said just before the top of the hour. Is you got a lot of stocks down 50%. The market's not down 50%, but there are a lot of stocks down 50%. And you have to take a step back and say, where is the opportunity? Where has sentiment swung so negatively that the rate of change could actually be positive? And one of the things that I would point out is that the University of Michigan consumer sentiment is at a 40-year low. So to me, that's because, well, obviously, oil prices and so forth. But could the rate of change at some point turn positive? I think that's the case. And so I think it's early. I agree with Sam. It's early uh, for the market overall. But I think you have to start looking for stocks where the valuation can provide some support and have been really beaten down. And that's not the market, but it is specific stocks. 